Okay, so in this question, we are given an infinite line of charge. Lambda. Uh, with a charge density lambda. This is dQ dL. And let's say it's positive. Let's say that the uh, charge density and that is the charge positive. In one of the seminar questions, uh, we have found out using the Gauss's law that the electric field at the distance r from the line charge is given as electric field is equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 r multiplied by unit vector r. So we calculated the magnitude, this unit vector r is simply showing us that the direction is pointing radially away from the, uh, from the line charge. Now if you are to draw the electric field lines, the electric field lines would look like this. This is again a two-dimensional picture, uh, but in 3D you should imagine that these electric field lines are pointing in all directions, but on a 2D plane uh, this is how it looks like. So given that we need to find out in this problem what is the potential, electric potential difference between two points which are at the distance R1 and R2. So R1 and R2. What is the potential difference between these two points? So let's say that the potential here is V1 and here it's V2. So we are looking for delta V, which is V2 minus V1. Well, we can apply the uh, relation between delta V and the electric field that we learned from the lecture, which is integral E dot dS from point 1 to point 2. Now, in our example, dS, as, because we're going to be moving along, the, along this electric field, our dS is actually equal to dR. So in our case, dS is the same as dR. So we can now take this electric field and this dR and plug it into the, into the integral. So then this is equal to negative integral E, which is lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 R, unit vector R, dot product dR, negative sign, and then we're going from R1 to R2. If you now look at this R and dR, dR is the same as the magnitudes of dR multiplied by the unit vector r. So now this unit vector r, dot product this unit vector r gives us 1. So lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0 is a constant, so it comes out. And the integral simplifies to this. Um, an integral of dr over r is the natural logarithm of r, so minus lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0. Logarithm of r from r1 to r2. This is then equal to, uh, well, you can write it like this. You can say that this is log logarithm of R2 minus natural log R1. Uh, the difference of two logarithms can be written as a, a logarithm of the ratio of their arguments. So you get negative lambda 2 pi epsilon 0 logarithm R2 over R1. Now, uh, 
you can get rid of the minus sign if you just slip, flip the order here. So instead of R2 over R1, we'll have R1 over R2. So lambda over 2 pi epsilon 0, logarithm R1 over R2. So this is the final answer for the potential difference delta V between two points, 1 and 2, uh, at a distance R1 and R2 from an infinite line of charge.